short to do next and I thought I've done quite a bit of prog, I've done metal and showing you that kind of stuff and I thought another band that sort of I've not mentioned a lot but they're not exactly metal and the sort of thing I'd usually listen to but um, major influence on me and I've been listening to them pretty much my whole life you know since a kid uh, and that's Oasis you know and anything sort of by Noel Gallagher really a massive fan of his songwriting style you know um, yeah, and anything it's sort of done really, whether it be the more experimental or underground sort of B sides or the main sort of like number one hits such as Wonderwall, you know. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just show you my sort of uh, collection really, Oasis and stuff, which I've been collecting the last couple of years. But I'm progressively getting into sort of finding more of the B sides and sort of the rare realms and that kind of stuff. But so um, I thought I'd start with the most obvious sort of one, which is pretty much in Semi Fuel's record collection anyway, and that is. Um, Oasis, what's the story, Morning Glory, which is sort of like, yeah, this album needs no introduction, really. Um, yeah, Wonderwall, Don't Look Back in Anger, it's sort of their magnum opus, I guess. Um, some really good songs on there that, you know, some might say, Cast No Shadow, you know, other great cracking songs as well, which obviously don't get as much as a look in as, you know, Wonderwall and Don't Look Back in Anger. But, um, yeah, brilliant record, and I had to get this for the collection because, you know, I've been listening to those songs uh, so much, you know, throughout the last 20 years. Um, yeah, um, I wasn't really sure what to make of this album, I saw the trailer for it. Uh, I was a massive fan of his last album, and sort of the one before, but... Um, yeah, as soon as the album came out, I sort of turned back on my word a bit, really, and was sort of impressed by the songs that weren't really singles or weren't really released as sort of leaked singles. I thought the album was actually a lot stronger than I expected, you know, I think some of the best, most experimental work he's ever done. You know, he certainly matured in terms of um, the compositions anyway. I don't know, but he's always been a good lyric songwriter, but the compositions have been a bit hit or miss, you know, sort of three chords. But this has got some more like finger picking in it and, well, maybe not finger picking, but you know, uh, pe pe yeah, what's the word I'm looking for? Arpeggios of chords and that kind of stuff, and you know, some more funky sort of disco sort of beats and funk and stuff, I guess, and tracks like Keep on Reaching. And this, um, yeah, um, Noel, Gallag Noel Gallagher's High Fine Birds Who Built the Moon, his last one. I actually bought this quite a while back, uh, I think it's back in November, back on release anyway. I've got it birthday money, but yeah, I wasn't really sure what to think of it. As soon as I gave it a stream on Spotify, I knew I had to go and get, get it as well. and Judging by the artwork, it's just sort of worth getting vinyl, really. I mean, you know, that that's the uh, best artwork I think he's ever really been a part of. But yeah, the, the tracks on there, you know, great. I mean, I really like um, If Love Is The Law, The Man Who Built The Moon, you know. And even She Taught Me How To Fly, really, for such a basic song, it's quite catchy and quite, you know, um, quite a big for an old song. I don't actually have a physical copy of this on CD or vinyl yet, but um, I've been enjoying this album on um, sort of DVD-R, which has got like a 5.1 mix in the music videos. Uh, and so Ace is definitely maybe their debut. For me, personally, probably one of the best debuts of all time. But yeah, it's in an uncompressed 5.1 um, mix, so yeah, I just blast that through the surround sound system and enjoy it that way. But yeah, I mean, this only cost me a few quid or something. I don't know if they've got any left. I bought it on Amazon about a year ago. And it was like literally five quid or something. But it's got the music videos for the singles on it, from it. Um, a documentary as well on the making of it, which is quite interesting. So you're getting a, you know, a lot of bang for your buck. I still need to buy the regular CD edition because obviously this is, you know, it's surround sound. I can't rip it to, a, to an iPod or anything like that. But yeah, phenomenal debut album, to be honest, one of the best debuts of all time, and yeah, everyone should have this in their record collection. This is sort of the only sort of Oasis rarity I sort of own at the moment, but I wasn't planning on picking this up, actually. I, I, this is the most recent record I've, 
I picked up by them, which was only a couple of weeks ago. I was uh, looking around in a fairly local record store of mine, not really intending to buy anything. They had a lot of, you know, some original creation record stuff. I noticed they had the first, um, the first al album, uh, Definitely Maybe, which is a creation record one, which was going for about hundred pound. And uh, they had the master plan, which was the email. No, what was it? The fan club only edition, which was out in 1997 or something, whenever the master plan was released, in pretty good condition. It'd been open and used, but it was like, you know, mint condition, and I was going for £100 as well. I thought, I can't, you know, no way am I paying that sort of thing. But I did find this for 20 quid, and that's um, still got the sticker on it. It's, um, yeah, it's a falling down um, EP, so it's just parts one to four, you know, parts, parts one and two inside one. And parts three, four, and five on on the B side, yeah, it's basically null with amorphous androgynous. Um, you have sort of remix, and it's got some laying down some acoustic stuff. There's a load of sort of drumming funk beats on it. Really trippy and out there. Um, yeah, I've heard it before, but I never really considered picking this up for the sort of collection. Really, and being a collection, this is not my favourite piece of work by, you know, sort of null or. Oasis by any stretch of the imagination, but yeah, still really enjoyable to play on a boring sort of Sunday afternoon. Uh, some great instrumentation on it, you know, there's plenty of like harmonica, flutes, and stuff like that. Um, I believe this was a record store day release, I'm not entirely sure, that's what the bloke in the shop told me it was, or where he believed he purchased it from. But yeah, it's in mint condition, the inner sleeve, and everything's you know, in perfect nick. Uh, I paid £20 for it, but. I know these for a fact these are going in this condition for around 40 50 quid at the moment so you know it's bound to shoot up in price and I'm hoping that <clears throat> well I'm hoping that money talks and they have a reunion and the price will rocket up again so yeah I've just basically got it for a collection piece but yeah hopefully with time it'll be worth a lot more so yeah really good piece um but yeah, that's uh, it so far for my sort of Oasis and Noel Gallagher stuff. I'm still planning on getting the first two, you know, Half Line Birds album. I'm not quite a fan of sort of Liam stuff, you know, BBI and his solo album. Still really good music. Um, I still probably get it with time, but you know, for me, Noel clinches it every day of the week, you know, in terms of songwriting and instrumentation. Um, but yeah, for my next video, because we're four months into the year now I'm considering doing albums that I've enjoyed recently albums that I think may have slipped under the radar be it indie prog metal blues um, yeah normal hard rock stuff that sort of Metal Hammer and Team Rock and these sort of like leading magazines I guess have sort of let slip under the radar really I know there's been a few albums I've enjoyed you know quite a few progressive metal albums that maybe I've got the attention they've deserved you know the last few months you know stuff that come out way back in February you know but um, yeah, give us a like and subscribe. And um, yeah, if there's any records you want me to check out, prog metal, blues, rock, or anything, comment. And um, I'll see you soon.